Welcome Aries to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of April for the Ascendant, the Sun or the Moon. On the screen now I'm showing the event chart for Monday at midnight. This is what we can expect overall through the next seven days. The big takeout is that the Moon in your sign is very close to Venus. If you are enjoying uh, thinking about your appearance or making some changes at the moment, perhaps even to things at home, your instincts around the more decorative and artistic side of your situation are really enhanced by that combination. But also later on on Monday, of course, there is that total solar eclipse in your sign, which is going to be in a conjunction with Chiron. Now, I don't know where Chiron is in your natal chart, but collectively, Chiron in Aries is very much about identity. You may have quite a healthy understanding of your strengths, but not all of us do. And even if we are pretty self-confident, there could be times when we do doubt ourselves. Chiron is an influence that's very much to do with where we sparkle. I think it is a little bit misrepresented at times, but it definitely can be where we don't feel heard. So if there are people around you who try to smother any individual talents you have, artistry or flair, or well, yeah, that's all right, this is a time over the next six months to really fiercely set your intentions about what makes you so special. And one of the things I love about Aries people is that if you get a gut feeling, you often go with it. Other zodiac signs can mull things over, almost like try to find all the angles of why not to do something when already you're gaining traction. But people criticize you because sometimes you then move on to something else which seizes your imagination. But someone has to start the process off and we have to understand the symbolism of your sign. You are the first zodiac sign. So in the journey, the zoo, the movement of the animals, the zodiac, you're the ram, the one that has the passion, the drive, but also the confidence and courage to do something before it's perhaps been tested. So if there is something that you're attracted to at the moment that you feel excited about, haven't quite necessarily got all your proverbial ducks in a row, I feel the next six months can be a time when you really do up the ante, gain a lot of traction and get on the front foot. And essentially the combination of the sun and the moon, the third supermoon in succession, which is where the moon to us on earth looks, it is physically closer to us. So it amplifies the moment. This is an opportunity for you to be much more self-assured, to uh, get a firmer grip on your life direction, whatever the doubt is. But you know, the biggest doubt of this week could still be you because your ruler, Mars, is applying to Saturn. So back to that chart, Will, right at the start of the week, you can see there's only two degrees between them. But by Wednesday, they're in an exact alliance. This is known as a conjunction. So they're side by side. So that, that brings them into unity. But these two planets in traditional astrology in the terms of Saturn, the greater, and of Mars, the lesser, malefics. So they're known as being challenging. So when they come together in the 12th zodiac sign of your chart, that's very psychological. But the 12th house can also be the people who are not with us. So in traditional astrology, again, secret enemies. But the 12th house can also be where we withdraw. It can be where we don't feel 100% well. Because Mars can be about physical thrust, Saturn applying to Mars could mean that at some level you don't feel your best this week. And of course Mercury's in a retrograde in your sign, suggesting that some of the ideas you've had may have not quite flowed at the speed you want. Again, may have created some uh, doubts. So this is a complex week, but we need to look at the big picture. And the big picture means that the total solar eclipse provides an influence for the next half year. But there may be some internal barriers you need to overcome in terms of self-limiting thinking 
or perhaps if you're caught up quite a lot with the past or there's someone who's disappointed you a lot around the relationship or there's been a big loss of someone close to you and you're still processing that information it's very hard to be energetic dynamic and uh, uh, powering forwards in the way that you're known when you're at your best but you certainly have a chance to do that I'd also like to take you back to that chart Will and the position of Venus and its angle to Pluto if you recall last week when Venus moved into your sign on the 5th it for forged the first sextile between the two for over 220 years now they're still in contact suggesting a very meaningful relationship could come into your life at this time. The 12th house can also be where things develop in our situations in a very subtle way, where someone may show an interest but not necessarily verbalize it. So watch out for someone's body language. Or is there somebody that actually you're drawn towards that you might not even like, but there's still something about them that intrigues you. So all those potentials could play out but if you are building an alliance with a friend, with a family member, a neighbour, a colleague or someone you really fancy, the chances are that Venus and Pluto is guiding you because it's going to give you an instinctive understanding of where someone's coming from. Because with Mars, your ruler, afflicted this week, if there is anyone you're unsure of who you may feel is a doubt in Thomas or someone who whispers behind their hands, is a little bit of a stirrer in your community or at work, Mars and Saturn are going to make you very aware of that. So this week in some ways is going to be a test of your self-belief, your self-worth. There could be doubters around. Some of that doubt can come from you. You may still be processing those old issues or losses, but if you can move into the moment, you really can start to uh, apply yourself in the most fantastically powerful way over the next six months. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Aries. I hope you have a great week. Please like, share, comment or subscribe.